I am back out at the farm in the uh, holiday hunt. My 27th today, December 27th. Walking out this blind, blind work. It's an old corn cut field. It wasn't cut um, during the weekend. But I think it was a big issue as far as what deer we weren't seeing. This snow that we have from last night, so pretty. Oh, the deer tracks. It's an awesome sign. Uh, in here feeding, trying to get their energy levels back up, so we're gonna be out here for a couple of days and gonna take you along, so hopefully we can find some success and finish the season off strong, so let's see how it goes. really hoping for that to get started and hopefully get the deer moving but um, no snow yet no deer movement yet but they're using these woods I feel like I'm sitting in the right spot to where they are using the woods and where they're traveling um, it's just really a matter of being out here while they're out here. Just being here at the right time. So I'm going to uh, see if I can't sit this a little bit longer. Hopefully the snow starts and hopefully they get up. So I don't know. We'll see how long, how it goes and how long it can last in this bitter cold. So got a little time yet. Stood for a 
second and ran into the woods and then the other two just sat there kind of wondering what's going on. I think they were confused. With it being an open field, it echoes everywhere, so I don't know if they knew where it came from. Um, but it's pretty cold, so if she is hit and she's down somewhere, I'm just going to let her sit and, you know, let, uh, I guess, nature take its course on her. And then a little bit later, I'll head over there and check to see if I can find any blood, but I'm pretty confident that was a miss, but I wasn't expecting her to be out this early, so nice to see him. I guess I wish I had a better spot to take a shot. I got pretty steady. Um, kind of leaned up against the side of the blind and then peeked around. But I think I think I shot under her. But I don't know. I'll have to take a look later and see what's going on. But it's something. It's action I've seen all season, so we'll take it. Alright, folks. Uh, I'm here. Um, out of that field again. For the evening sit again. This is going to be my last sit um, for this trip. Might be my last time out hunting for the season, so we're just going to hope we see something again like we did last night and see if we can't get a shot shot this time so we'll see how it goes all right so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little uh, recap here of uh, I guess the last evening so I'm gonna do an outro at the end of the day um, saw three does again and I think they're the same ones from uh, the other day they came out though kind of where a field kind of comes where a wood line cuts out and then cuts back and there's another field back there and I saw them back I was able to see them through the woods out in that field um, back in good shots it was pretty brushy and they never came up far enough in that field for where the wood line clears and I could have got a shot um, you know it's part of hunting you set up and do what you can but sometimes you're in the wrong spot and that happens, it happens a lot. So it's kind of a rough season for me all around, um, just in terms of harvesting anything. Um, learned a lot throughout my bow season. Um, pretty much relying on gun season because usually it's, just, I don't know, usually there's a lot more action. It just it sounds like everybody I knew that hunted out there and some other people that my uncle knew and everything like that, they kind of had all the same thing and they weren't seeing a whole lot. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm on the way home now and um, not going to be gun hunting anymore. I think bow season goes until like January 3rd or 6th or something right in there. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get out again, so I've you know, got my mind prepared for that. Um, if I can get out, just going to be a bonus, but um, at this point I'm not really expecting it. Um, just as you know, the season comes to a close and got kind of stuff at home and, and work to get to take care of, so um, I was kind of hoping to have something in the freezer at this point, so I wasn't really planning for this late of hunting in the season. But that's how it goes sometimes, so I'm um, just gonna keep shooting the bow in the off season, keep practicing, getting better, and uh, you know, next year is another year, and hopefully we can put a bunch of food in the freezer next year, so yeah, I guess uh, we'll probably keep the bow throughout the, the off season, what's going on with us, so talk to you later.